Hey, what's up you guys? This is Nathan with freedominfluencer.com and in this video, I'm gonna be going over five of the best ways to make money with blogging. So if you're wanting to learn how to really earn from blogging, this is gonna be a great video for you guys. So before we jump in, I wanna let you know what my channel is all about, all right? This is Freedom Influencer and I provide videos tips, tricks to help you earn money, make a passive income, and ultimately go full time as an entrepreneur with online in your own digital business. So if you want more videos from me on that, I encourage you to go down, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to receive future videos from me, which I'm putting out on a consistent basis. And if you wanna know my number one rec recommended way to make money online, uh, which you can see this is a screenshot from some of my earnings making over six thousand dollars in 30 days Yes, it is possible to make a full-time income online I will leave my number one recommendation for you guys down in the description below and I'm gonna give you an added bonus that I'm gonna email you uh, as soon as you do that, but with that being said we're here for blogging, okay and I want to go over some of these these ways to make money with your blog and I really think that this is going to be helpful for you and hopefully I can open your eyes to some different ideas so you can start monetizing your blog and making money as soon as today. All right, let's jump into this and I want to give you an overview of uh, really how this works. Okay, so the first thing is that you're going to need to pick a niche. Okay. And I put down here the three uh, my three top recommended niches uh, for you to choose from and I, I pick these because these are what I believe to be the most profitable all right and it's health wealth and relationships now obviously you know you're not limited to these uh, three niches but the reason I chose these and I recommend these is because these all have pain points that people uh, ha are experiencing pain in their life all right and then there are products and services out there that you can either create or promote as an affiliate to provide a solution to these people who have pain points where you can actually help them and then you can make a really good amount of money so they're very profitable okay so the next thing is you need to become an expert over the long term this is ultimately what you want in your business is you want to become this go-to person inside of your niche all right now this is going to happen with time and if you're not considered an expert in a specific niche right now you don't have to uh, wait to start making money and really this is a, a really cool trick that i did and all it is is provide value in your niche all right i love my handwriting here <laughs> you provide value and all you have to remember this is that as soon as you learn something, right? And you say, wow, that was cool. I just learned something or a tip or a trick or tactic or whatever it may be in whatever niche, okay? The the problem that most entrepreneurs face and they, they can't wrap their brain around the mindset that just because you have knowledge of something, just because you know something doesn't mean other people know it as well. So your level of expertise are always always going to be higher than someone else so just because you know it doesn't mean other people know it and when you understand that you'll never run out of content you'll never run out of things to say you'll never run out of ways to help people improve their life which means you on the other hand are going to grow your business and end up becoming that expert all right so let's talk about how really the breakdown of when everything is in place on your blog and how all of this works okay step one is you have to drive traffic okay no matter what you're promoting no matter what business model you have if you don't have eyeballs going to a website a landing page an offer you will not make money so you have to understand this that traffic drives your business all right that's the first step the second step is to generate leads build an email subscriber list okay some people will say that this is outdated and that you don't need to be building a list i 100 percent disagree with you with with that and any other uh marketer who has had success with this you know they understand it too that 
this is an asset. When you're building an email subscriber list, that is an asset that can pay you for a lifetime. So as soon as you can, start generating leads with an opt-in form on your website to start building that list because now you can sell, build more trust with those potential customers, all right? And then obviously you have to sell something. This can be product-based, it can be service-based, which we're gonna talk about in different ways to make money and monetize your blog in here in just a minute, but you have to sell. There has to be a way for a transaction of money to be made for you to make money, all right? So that's how this all works, you guys. Let's dive into this. I'm gonna go over these five different ways that you can make money with your blog. And the first one, and probably the most popular that most people know about, is running ads on your website. Now, although this is one of the most popular ways to make money, it's not one of the most profitable. Now, it just depends on how much traffic you're getting to your blog. Most people, if you're a beginner, you're just starting out, 100% I do not recommend running ads on your website. And the reason is because you get no benefit from Google uh, to run ads on your website, as in your rankings are not gonna change because you have ads on your website. And so what happens is the way that I look at this, okay, and I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of how my brain works and what I think about ads. Every time that you see, let's just say that you do allow to run ads, and by the way, uh, you jump over here to Google AdSense, okay? It's just this website here, you sign up for free, and then you would install that onto your website. And uh, that's how you run ads through Google AdSense, okay? But my thought behind this is that if I were to see that I'm making money through ads, I know that people are clicking off of my website and they clicked on an ad. Now for me, a lot of people look at this two ways. One, awesome, you're making some money, okay? But two, and what I think is probably the more impo important uh, note on this, is that people are leaving your website. So if you go through, let me just draw this up real quick. If you go through the marketing of getting traffic, right, and you do all the legwork and all the work to get traffic to your website, okay, to see your content, to hopefully eventually buy your products, and then you allow ads to run, and let's say that your business isn't making that much money, okay, and they click on these ads, now they're leaving your website. So what is the point of going through all this work only to make sense, okay? I mean, the amount of money you're making through running ads is not significant, like I said, unless you know, you're know you driving hundreds of thousands, if not millions of visitors to your website. So although profitable, yes, and uh, for me, I don't run ads on my website. However, I do let ads run on my YouTube videos. Now, does that affect ranking on YouTube, yes or no? It's hard to say, I don't really know, but I just look at it, you know, it's kind of a, a win and a loss because if I am making money a little bit, like I said, even on YouTube, it's it's very little, okay? I am making a little bit of money, whatever, that can pay for gas, it can pay for some more uh, whatever I need, but at the same time, what if it is helping with my rankings on YouTube? And I don't know the answer to that question, but... Uh, just be wary of this when you're running ads or if you think about running ads on your website. All right, number two is to offer coaching and consulting. This is a great way to harness your skill sets to help people uh, right away. Now, obviously, this is not gonna be leveraged. Now, what do I mean by leveraged? You are actually trading your time for money. This is not passive income, okay? But the cool thing about coaching and consulting, depending on your niche, is you can charge quite a bit of money. Again, this all comes down to the the problem and the solution, okay? If you if people are wanting to lose weight and you can offer a solution to that, sometimes they're willing to uh, really pay a lot of money for that. If you're offering coaching and consulting in marketing and you can help people become more financially free, you can charge a lot more for that. I've personally done coaching in the past and you know I charged a good amount of money. And the reason that I'm doing that is because it's my time. I'm giving up my time to help people uh, get a solution in their life so you can charge a little bit more for that. So let's take a look at a, an example of this, okay?
This is a website called bornfitness.com. And then up in the right, if I were to click on coaching, okay, now this is just to give you guys an idea of how you can set this up on your own website, all right? And then once I did that, he's got all this stuff at the top, and then it says apply for coaching. Well, if I scroll down, it's also here as well. So if I click apply for coaching, it brings me down. I can put my name, my email, my age, my gender, and then my goal. What is my goal? And this is a, a great way to generate leads for your own coaching on your website is to simply set up a form that people can fill out right there on your website. And uh, just a quick side note on that for the forms, if you wanna build a form, uh, you can build a form in Google Docs 100% free and have that embedded on your website, all right? All right, number three is to sell digital products. Now, in today's day and age, this is becoming more popular and way more profitable. Again, this all depends on your niche, but I do wanna show you guys real quick uh, an example of this, all right? So this is Shalene Johnson's website. A lot of people have heard of her if you uh, are into fitness uh, because she's partnered with Beachbody on some different products, okay? Now, she's a good example of, if I go to the top here and you scroll here, of physical products and digital products, okay? So if I were to just take a look at this, Marketing Impact Academy, and I click on this, okay, I would go through, put my name and email in, and then she has several products that are digital based. So they're like courses and things of that nature. You can go set up a, a digital course on teachable.com, 100% free, create a video course and start making money by selling that straight from your website. So I highly recommend if you have skills or if you have knowledge that you can package into a an online course, it's very profitable. You can make a lot of money doing it, all right? Uh, and again, that's called teachable.com if you wanna go use their platform, all right? So let's get into number four, which is actually not digital products, it's sell physical products, okay? So this is physical products. I just forgot to change that there. But let's jump over and I'll show you an example of this. Again, in the fitness industry, this is called mileposts.com, all right? And this is a fitness blogger, okay? Now, here's what's cool. There's a little button here at the top that says shop. If I click on that, it's gonna take me to her shop, okay? And so if I come down here, you can see all of these different products and I would probably bet money that this is uh, using something called Shopify. So let's say if I just click this, okay, you can see this little tank top, right, that she's selling, and it's $26, okay? Now, again, this is more than likely this is through uh, something called Shopify, and anybody can do this. You can come in here and have your own custom uh, store and start selling stuff. Very profitable as well, all right? So number four was actually physical products. And then number five is to sell other people's products through affiliate marketing. I personally love this because I, I personally have made tens of thousands of dollars with this. And what I love about this is it's so beginner friendly because anybody in almost any niche can get started selling other people's products immediately, all right? So let's take a some look at websites here. And the first one's Amazon Associates. Now, obviously, Amazon's huge. Most people know about Amazon. The chances that you have bought something off Amazon are, are pretty high, right? I know that I use this, my wife and I use this. We have the Amazon Prime, we get things shipped to us in two days, and we do this all the time. But what's cool about this is on your blog, now here's just a little trick, okay? Remember we talked about ads, running ads through uh, signing up over here at Google um, AdSense, right? And running ads to make money. Well, instead of allowing ads from Google, you can simply monetize your blog with affiliate marketing and the profit margins are a lot higher than just allowing ads to run. So instead of having banners th that are just ads through Google AdSense, you have banners of products and, and things that are congruent with your niche in affiliate marketing, okay? Now you can do that through Amazon, okay? Or a website called ClickBank. Now ClickBank is one of the most 
popular websites for uh, affiliate marketing. And the reason is just because they have so many different products. If I, if I zoom in here and we take a look at all these different categories, I mean, just take a look at how many different categories they have. So depending on your niche, you can simply come over here. And by the way, this is free to sign up to this website and, and Amazon Associates. It's all free to start. And then you can start promoting, start making money almost immediately, okay? And that's what I love about affiliate marketing. Now, imagine using affiliate marketing on your website instead of allowing ads to run. You're gonna make more money if people purchase through an affiliate link than you are, and it depends on the product, right? Than you are with uh, Google ads, okay? So that's why, you know, for me, I'm not gonna monetize my website unless my traffic is through the roof, okay? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna monetize it with affiliate marketing, and that is, in real time, what I'm doing on my website. All right, you guys, so, I wanna give you guys my affiliate marketing ebook if you want to learn how to go full-time, making a full-time income with affiliate marketing. I have my free ebook, Affiliate Marketing Riches, that I will give to you, and I go through eight steps on how to build a successful, long-term business with affiliate marketing, and I'll leave that in the description below. You can go grab that for free, all right? So that is everything, you guys. I really hope that you got some value out of this video. If you did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. And if you want more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to receive uh, notifications of my future videos, which I'm putting out on a regular basis. All right, you guys, this is Nathan with Freedom Influencer. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.